My name is Mike Richardson. I'm a professor here at the University of Arkansas. I have been for 23 years uh, in the Department of Horticulture. And my focus is on turf grass management. We do research on everything from golf course putting greens to sod production to lawns to even uh, native plants and roadside vegetation. So we uh, can kind of cover just about anything related to, to sports or athletic fields or, or, or turf. We're kind of right up in the, the far northwest corner of the state uh, in the Ozarks. And so we manage about 15 acres of turf here at this station, including about two and a half acres of putting green. We have the capability here to grow just about everything, which is nice from a research standpoint. And also because we're in a transition zone environment, nothing grows really well. Everything has some kind of stress on it, either cold stress on warm season grasses or heat stress and diseases on cool season grasses. At the University of Arkansas, we've been doing surfactant work for about 15 years now. We kind of developed enough expertise here that, that we started working with really just about all the major companies that sell surfactants, doing product testing for them as they develop new products. So the last two summers, uh, we've probably had you know, 20 or more um, uh, wedding agent trials that we've done either part of graduate student projects or direct support to companies that sell surfactants. We use a lot of different ways to collect data on all of our trials here, but uh, specifically related to some of the wetting agent work we do. The technology that we've probably added in the last few years that's really been beneficial, especially for the sponsors of projects, is the use of drones. One of the things that we've gotten really regimented about is that we take a picture of every trial every week. And so now I can provide to a cooperator basically 12 weeks, 16 weeks, however long the trial is. This is exactly what happened over every week of the trial. And then we can overlay what the plot plan is on top of it so they can see every treatment on every picture. The one that we're really most excited about right now is a new drone that will take a simultaneous uh, red, green, blue image, which is a normal photography image. And then it also takes an infrared image at the same time of the same area. And so as these uh, wedding agent trials progress, we start seeing these localized dry spots develop. Those spots will also heat up very quickly. You can just get a very clear view of those products working or not working as uh, you start seeing those thermal images. We firmly believe that surfactants have a key role in water management and water conservation on a golf course putting green. We've got data to, to back that up. You know, some of the earliest work we did here, we looked at uh, multiple irrigation strategies, you know, very, very limited water all the way up to what you might even consider to be overwatering, and then looked at the effects of a, of a surfactant under those different irrigation strategies. And I mean, it was very clear that we got not only uh, much higher quality at reduced irrigation rates. But one of the things that kind of came out of that that we really weren't expecting uh, is that we started really looking at how water was being distributed in the soil. And uh, one of the things that we thought was a real significant advantage for using a surfactant or a wetting agent was that you got much more uniform distribution of water into the soil. Uh, you've been out on golf courses and if they have areas of a green that stay too wet or areas of a green that get too dry, uh, then it becomes a real challenge for the superintendent uh, to manage the irrigation and manage the, their water uh, use. So oftentimes they're having to water for the dry areas, which means the wet areas are getting even wetter. And so we believe surfactants play a key role in, in providing uniform moisture conditions across the green so that the superintendent can be a little more um, uh, restrictive with how much water they put out. And of course, you know, superintendents want to maintain their greens dry and firm. And that's just part of, you know, the firm and fast mantra. So if you can use less water, create firmer soil conditions, but still have healthy turf, um, I think that's a, that's a really important part of, you know, not only the, the management and conservation of water, but the playability of the golf course been excited about working with Precision uh, and so when we get cooperators that come here that not only are just trying to sell products but they understand the products that they're selling it really makes it more exciting for us as researchers because now we have the opportunity to really develop ideas and develop research projects that maybe can answer some real basic questions that are interesting to us as academics but also answer questions to help uh, companies like Precision uh, better develop their product lines to, to meet the customer's needs.